Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Sewing a Little. In today's video we're going to be showing you how to make this beautiful apron named Flora. It is a level 1 tutorial so don't be shy. This is a very easy tutorial that you can make in a short amount of time and it is a beautiful apron that will look very pretty while cooking. It does have a heart shaped pocket which is very useful to be able to hold your necessary tools and we will be showing you how to make the embroidery decorations and how to make the ruffles that border the entire apron and that also decorate the pocket. Alright, now without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. These are the materials that you're going to need. You're going to need one main fabric. We are using 100% cotton for each of our fabrics. You're also going to need two combination fabrics. You can use weights or you can use pins, whichever you prefer. We're also going to be needing a rotary cutter or a scissor and you're going to need a tiny scissor to cut the notches and the thread while sewing. Firstly, we will start off by folding the fabric, the main fabric, over itself, like so. We are going to cut one of the main fabric. It is important to always mark the notches that are indicated in the pattern. Do not forget this step. And this should be the result. To cut the lining, we are going to need the secondary combination fabric. We fold it over itself once again and do the same process. It should look like this. And now we finish cutting the lining. For this waistband, we are going to need a strap of 15 inches by 4 and we are going to need two of the entire width by 4. For this, you are going to clean the fabric first. In our case, we have the table map that serves as a guide. When cleaning, essentially what we are doing is a more even and neat cut. To get the two straps, we are going to be using the full width of the fabric. From here, at point zero, we are going to count four inches and cut through there. You can mark the fabric before if you'd like. From here, we will be obtaining the straps, the entire width of the fabric. We will also clean the edges to make it easier for us to sew it. The measurements of the apron straps are 1 16 inch by 4 inch. We should have it at 4 by 16. For this one, we're going to need an interlining or pelon that's the same measurement. To cut the heart, which would be the pocket, you can use pins if you'd like. We are going to need two of this piece, one of each combo. To complement the pocket and a pelon or interfacing to give it more security and body. Again, it is very important to always mark the notches. As a result, we'll be needing combo number one, combo number two, and one pelon. To cut the ruffle of the apron, we are going to need to place the fabric at a 45 degree angle and the rest will be square. Once we have it like this, we're going to be folding it. We put the ruler on top and the width for the ruffle of the apron will be 3 inches. Now we cut. Here we have the straight side put in a straight line and we have the 45 degree angle. We will have a ruffle of 3 inches at an angle of 45 degrees because that way the fabric would have more flexibility and the necessary amount to flip or turn the apron. In the end, we will tell you the length that we need in total. 
The straps that we obtain with this cut are going to be connected this way in a diagonal cut, like so. Once this fabric is put together, we will let you know later in the video how much fabric we used in inches. We're going to use the same 45 degree cut, but this time for the heart ruffle details. We're going to be cutting at 2 inches, one for each side of the heart. These measurements will be written on the pattern. Once we've finished cutting, these are the pieces that we should have. One main fabric for the apron, the lining, the waistband with the pelon, the two straps that will tie the apron. For the decorations, we will be using a pocket which is formed by the combination fabric, the combo fabric number two, and the pelon. For the ruffle, we will be needing three inches of straps at a 45 degree angle. We will be using the amount needed at the end of the video. We will be letting you know the amount that we used. For the pocket, we will need two straps of 2 by 15 inches. And now, let's get sewing! Firstly, we are going to prepare the machine with the colors of thread we will be using. This step is very simple. If your machine comes with an extendable table, you can use it if you'd like. Once we've placed the table, we will have the bottom of the machine fully prepared. Here we have the pieces that we cut previously. Firstly, we'll go to the iron to glue the pelon. To press the pelon, you're going to only use the heat of the iron. You're not going to use the steam. We're going to be ironing until we've completely sticked the pelon, pressing as we go. These are the ruffles we will be using as decorations for the heart pocket. In this case, all we have to do is fold it over itself by the ends, like so, and since this is such a short section, I won't be placing pins all around, but you can do so if you'd like. We start sewing and we'll make a tacking stitch at the beginning and at the end. We turn it out right and to get the ends out, we are going to use a pin. Here we're going to be ironing the ruffle. When working with a 100% cotton fabric, you'll achieve a more cleaner and more neat result if you iron at each step. This ruffle has to enter or coincide with these two notches. We are going to pleat it with our hands and we are going to make some folds on the machine with our hands until we get this size of 5 and a quarter inches or what equals 13 and a half centimeters. This ruffle has to be 5 and 1 fourth inches. I am going to add a little more but that measurement will already be updated in the pattern. We already have the first one at 5 and 1 fourth inches. For the second ruffle, we will also take it to the same size and we will do the same process. It is as simple as making folds with your hands or you can also curl it if you wish. Since this is a manual work within the apron, you can choose to make the curls the way you like the most. Having both the same size, now we go to the machine to sew. And we begin sewing like so. Now, if this is your case, you can remove any excess pelon. As you can see, we have the notches marked and we will be placing the ruffle on top. We will do the same with the other ruffle. We will place it in the middle of both notches. Now we sew. The measurement to sew the pocket will be to the edge of the machine's foot. At the end, we will backstitch and we will do the same process with the other side ruffle. Once we have it like this, we are going to place it right side against right and again, you can use pins if you wish. We are going to leave an open space of 2 inches. These measurements will be updated in the pattern. Now we are going to close the entire pocket except for the space we previously marked. We are going to close to the width of the presser foot. 
in the curved parts, we sew a little slower and we help the machine out with our hands. When we reach the central V part, we leave the needle underneath, lift the foot, turn, and continue sewing. When we reach the marks we made before, we backstitch. To flip it outright, we are going to make a small cut in the center and turn it outright. We iron and we are going to give a few stitches by hand to the space that we left open, but this part is optional. Now we are going to position the pocket in the apron. You can place it where you'd like. In our case, it will be here and that is how it's going to be in the pattern. We are going to sew the pocket a little higher where the ruffle begins and then all the way around. We place pins in strategic places so that it doesn't move. And we are going to sew as close to the border as possible. But you can also sew it by hand if you'd like. In the curved part, we sew a little softer, helping out the machine. And at the end, we backstitch. If the measurement we give you in the pattern is not enough for you, you can cut it diagonally like this and connect it. We always open seams with the iron. In the pattern, you will have the exact measurement that the ruffle of the apron took. We fold and iron the entire length of the ruffle strap. In the end, you will see that this detail is so beautiful and it gives a perfect beautiful touch to the apron. This should be the result. And now with a fabric marker or pen, or even pins, you can mark where you want the detail that you'd like. Now with an embroidery floss or your preferred thread, we begin to embroider where we had marked. As you can see, this is a very easy step. The details do not have to be exact. The more irregular, the more rustic and unique the work. We already have the first three, now we go to the other color. You can make as many detail stitches or use as much colors as you'd like for your decoration. You can decide at what distance you want the folds and you can make as many folds as you like. It is totally to your liking. The distance that we are giving them is one inch. If you want, you can put pins all around. We are sewing at the width of the machine's foot. Now we put the lining of the apron below with the right side up and put the apron on the top facing the rights. Now we begin to place pins to be able to sew all around the entire contour. In the corners we have some notches that we are going to be uniting by placing pins on each of them so that the apron does not move out of place. Now we begin to sew the apron. Once we are done turning it over, we will settle it with the iron. It should look like this in the front and like this in the back. Here we have 19 and a half inches or 49 and a half centimeters. We are going to be taking it to a total of 15 and a half inches. Then we will have to fit the apron in the waistband. We are going to stick the pelon to the waistband, only to the waist part, not to the bands or straps. To stick the pelon, we will only be using the heat of the iron, not the steam. 
With the pylon already placed in the waistband, we are going to sew it to the straps that are the ones that adjust the apron to the waist. Then on the other side, we are going to put the other strap. We put pins and we are going to be sewing at 3 4 inch, which is the same as 1 centimeter. As you can see, we are sewing at 5 8 on the machine, which is the same as 1 centimeter. We already have the waistband connected to the straps that tie the apron to your waist. Now let's go to the ironing table. We open seams and iron. Now in the machine, we are joining the lining with the apron to be able to make the ruffle, but first, we will be sewing all around. If you do not have a ruffle presser foot for the domestic machine, we will give you a good tip that will help you very much. We are going to put the stitch lengths in the largest size. Then we are going to gently pull this thread and we will allow the machine to do this effect when sewing. This will help us ruffle without having the ruffler presser foot. We are going to join the waistband and for that we are going to guide ourselves through the center of the waistband, joining the center of the waistband with the center of the apron. And we start by placing pins. We are going to accommodate until we reach the seam of the waistband. Of the center outside, we are going to introduce the apron inside the waistband. At this point, you can take your time and arrange the folds as you'd like. You can place more pins if you wish. We are going to reduce the stitch to two and a half and we will sew at one centimeter. We backstitch at the beginning. With our finger, we will be helping out the machine by accommodating the curls so that they look even and at the end we backstitch. Now we will cover the apron. We are going to try to keep everything hidden. For this, we are going to place a pin and we are going to fold the apron in this way and introduce it inside the waistband as far as it allows us. We are going to leave an open space in the center and will be sewing by hand. These signals and measurements will be updated in the pattern. Now we'll close the strap until the end. Once we've reached the end, we leave the needle underneath, turn, and continue sewing. This way we will have sewn the first strap. We are going to leave 2 inches open in the center until the end and we will do the same with the other side. This is the notch. As you can see, we are going to leave 2 inches of the space that we are going to need to turn it over. We are going to coincide the notches and from there we start sewing. And so we will until the end of the strap. Now we begin to take out the apron little by little until here. The same with the other side. Now we start to take out the straps with a stick. A good tip is to cut the corners to achieve more neat ends. We started to flip, we took out the strap. With a pin, you can pull out the tip. We will do the same with the other strap. This space that we left open, we will sew by hand, but first we are going to iron and accentuate the seams. Now we sew by hand, making the stitches as neat as possible until we sew the space completely. Now we will embroider the decorative stitches. Again, we are using embroidery floss, but you can definitely use whichever type of thread you prefer. And now, let's see the finished result.
subscribe for more sewing tutorials like this one, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!